What's up guys, the Bobcat here, and welcome back to our Let's Play of Civ 5 Brave New World as Ro, where we uh, try to conquer the world. And last time we uh, got into a war with Casimir and Ethiopia, even though they declared war on us. And we've just finished decimating Casimir's army, just shifting things around. And, uh, yeah. Just got our happiness up now, we've still got money problems, but we're in the positive, so that's something. Uh, our happiness is slowly increasing. So we'll continue. We do need artillery to take out Lloyds, which can't take it out on our own. I'd really like to take his capital though, that is a monstrous city. Tons of food, tons of growth, tons of production. Looks like he too has been building manufactories. Taking out this city? Not so much, it's all tundra, which is pretty much useless. Okay then. I'm worried though if we did take it out we'd just suffer huge unhappiness problems like we already have been. So we're still second. Ethiopia is... I don't see any of his forces but I doubt we will. He's way over here. Wellington has declared war on us. Why did Wellington declare war on us? Because it's, protect cause it's protected by Ethiopia. Seriously, do you not want peace? I don't see why. It's not like we're losing. Oh well. If he wants to be that way, let him be that way. You, stay fortified. And get our archers up there and start plunking away at them. There's our citadel we built. Well, oh, looks like his uh, men have run away. Fine by me. Production here we want. I'd like some better ships, really. But let's start work on the university. Yeah, I think that would be good. Or university is the better, really. In fact, we could build trebuchets. How long will it take? 11 turns? Sure, start work on the trebuchet. Need at least one. How's our spy doing as well? 22 turns before anything really happens. Mm, I think we'll stay away from Milan. However, I would like to start getting around uh, Lloyd's. Or Lods, I don't know how it's pronounced. I think I said that last time as well. So we'll start moving our units forward. Ooh, okay then, did not expect that. It's a lot of swordsmen he's built. Looks like we might lose some musketmen. Because I very much doubt he'll be able to survive. Oh no, he's alive. Just. Looks like we'll have to run him away. Thank God for the cover. In fact, this guy doesn't even have cover. Okay, you shoot at those boats. We also got a Steve achievement back there. I believe that was for stealing a trade route. Here, let's get a library. Getting one is kind of important. Casimir has entered the Renaissance, as is Bismarck. I think we already entered the Renaissance. There's his swordsmen. They all should die to our musketmen. You can shoot at those swordsmen. Move our unit forward. Start dealing with his forces. You can fortify until healed. You can go to sleep. I mean, we could citadel bomb him. Just didn't put one, say, there. Or maybe there. Which I've done that in the past, actually. It makes them really angry when you do it. Oh, did he just. He just insta healed. That's a shame. And also quite annoying. 
cargo ship. Don't really want to send you out just yet. I'm going to get some triremes out. Fear you may get pillaged. Doesn't like we can anyway. Has Jerusalem declared war on us? No. Nope. Just apparently we can't. Okay, so we want you to have cover again. We'll finish off his swordsman. Oh, sorry, yeah, that was his swordsman. Take out them. He's going to destroy my swordsman, my archers now, which is kind of a problem. It's not a problem; it's just annoying. Probably should have paid more attention to where he was. You can't really go anywhere, so send production there. Yep. Lost our composite Berman. So you're offering me these to make peace. Make peace with these two, peace treaty. Okay, that seems fine. You'll give me a gold for turn as well. Perhaps he realised he couldn't actually do anything to me. There we go. Come into your castle. Get rid of them. You had an upgrade, did you not? Apparently we can't do it now. Oh well. Come wait. We should be building the Circus Maximus now. He has denounced me because we won. Ha 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 ha. Apparently we just made friends with the Buenos Aires as well. So I want you to have cover. Not fan until healed. We're at positive happiness now, which is good. Ten turns until the Circus Maximus is done. Looks like we are having problems with the money again, but hopefully they'll go away over time. Of course! Why would we not? Even though you just denounced us. Sometimes the AI is very strange. Yeah, let's denounce him. Now let's get trade from him. What? We can start building crossbowmen as well. Because we've just finished machinery. Six gold per turn for spice. Yes, please. You want wine? Sure. Apparently we leave. Apparently we're the leading uh, marketeer for when it comes to wines and spices. Which is quite nice. Okay, he's got swordsman, triremes. Not a trireme. And there's, his, there's his trireme come out of the city now. We won't be able to push with forward with our trireme because it'll just get sunk. So we can put it there. Get some more vision. He has swordsman ready. Or long swordsman. We're back into negative happiness, but not a huge issue. We're about to actually have another social policy. Which would be very nice. <coughs> Most of our units are nearly fully healed. He's attacking us, which is annoying. You know what, sure. I'm not using them, and we've got loads of them. Okay, because of our unhappiness, we are losing battles against them. Head there. Ranged attack on the ships. Now we should be fine. New policy. Uh, any of these would be good. But I think we'll take naval tradition. It should start paying for itself later on. Peace treaty? Sure. You know what? I'm willing to accept that. Realise the error of his ways. Well, we'll all stop now, which is good. We'll move all our units back. Maybe start trading again. Uh -huh. 
we'll probably go to war against uh, uh, what was his name Morocco again next and just finish them off once and for all you take that one and uh, head up here you can follow You go back into our territory. That should be good. Very well. Now watch as he buys wine from us. Which I'm perfectly okay with. Trireme's a bit beat up. Well there's the second one. Let's put you here. Alert. And we'll put our other one back inside our territory to heal up. Let's use our legionary for a bit of exploration as well. Uh, you can yeah, build the lighthouse and that'll increase happiness. What's our spy doing? Ten turns until he gathers intelligence. Hopefully he won't die. I prefer it if you bought it off me, really. So I will refuse for now. You will pay for that Morocco when Alexander no doubt offers us an alliance to declare war on Morocco again. Like he did last time. Yeah. Going to alert. You head up here. I'd like to buy that tile really. Okay, production wise, what do we want here? Library, yes please. Increases our research, which is kind of low at the moment. Bismarck, uh, sorry. Bismarck's a tad far away for me to uh, want to declare war on him. Continue walking up here. In fact, we should have workers actually sleeping somewhere. <laughs> okay, next two turns until the Circus, Circus Maximus is done, which will be a big boost to our happiness, which will be wonderful. <laughs> Automate. <laughs> you just go to sleep. In fact, we'll even have a road already attached to Marrakesh when we take it. Producing a lot of gold as well, which is quite nice. Starting to gain a lot of gold now, 20 a turn. Again, not as much as I'd like. But it's still a decent amount. Good to alert. We'll have to probably upgrade them soon enough. Yep, build that mine. You head up here. And the Circus Maximus should be done now. So that's a big boost to our happiness. Not as big as if we built Notre Dame. But it's still pretty big. And then we'll start working on some more national epics. Yeah, we've actually got positive for a change. So we're plus two now, which is wonderful. Work on the university. You can probably cancel the trebuchet now. Don't think we need it. We don't need any of these things either. Get rid of the trebuchet. Five turns until that's done. Might be able to build the Alhambra. Alhambra. Which I think would be quite nice. Again, I'd want to build things which we need, not what we want. If that makes any sense. <laughs> well, three turns until chivalry, chivalry is done. Still keeping an eye on Casimir. Don't think he'll be a problem though for a while. We'll come back down to 8 gold per turn, but still nice. Ethiopia has denounced Greece. Greece's main city isn't that good either. It's got a lot of nice tiles around it though. But it's only 27 defence, which isn't a lot. 
fact, what do we need to build the ironworks? Fez and Rabot. Uh, Kuma, Fez and Rabot. Okay, so the last three cities we uh, took. Last two cities we took and the uh, city we settled we need to build things in. Actually, I don't think it'll be that long until... Uh, Oh, World Congress. Hey, it's the Inca. Finally met them. Greece is founded the World Congress. Okay. A trebuchet, you can head up here as well. Losing money again thanks to building you. But it won't be a huge issue. Make a proposal. So we've only got one vote. Let's say um what do we want? I think World's Fair. Pretty sure everyone likes World's Fair. Uh quick proposal. Trade route, what was your previous one? Up here with Marrakesh, that's fine. Still having problems with uh, unhappiness once again. I don't know why it just keeps increasing. I'm not interested in the horses, but if you'd give me, say, uh, maybe seven gold. Well, we can't do it because of this stupid mouse pointer. Oh well, five is fine. I prefer to squeeze just a little bit more out of him. Head up here. Production once again. Maybe the armory? Maybe we should jump straight to research. Over here. University would be nice, but we do need the workshops. In fact, the market would be even better. Let's get the workshop. Getting those built is kind of a priority. If we want the ironworks, it will significantly increase our production. the Inca like us because we uh, proposed the World's Fair. Okay, so it's apparently a two horse race now between us and Casimir. One turn left. Will he die or will we get some technology? Sure. He's got crabs as well. We can buy crabs off him. Crabs from the Inca. How nice. Yes, we can steal a technology. Wonderful. <laughs> I would do an evil laugh then. Nearly did, but it's a. Uh, I'd rather not. Compass or banking? Well, we're already working on banking. Thank you for the information. Compass. Hmm. I think we'll just take banking. I mean, we've already got some progress in it but take banking if I get in compass we probably should do we'll get compass then we'll work our way up to what we were doing before I don't know why we're going after the printing press but we'll get oh yeah, we're going after economics weren't we so we get the compass astronomy chemistry and then up to fertilizers and then scientific theory, something like that. Obviously that'll change, but again, it's nice to have some direction as to where we're going. You want open border? Sure. Don't know why you'd want it, but sure, if you're giving us gold for it, I'll gladly take it. Okay then. We've got banking actually, so we could probably do something. Ooh, Alexander and Bismarck are at war. I think Bismarck will probably win that one. <laughs> In fact, we can probably check if we were to go into demographs. Nope, not that one. Not that one. It is that one. We're first for land, gold per... T really? We're first for gold per turn? Okay then. Merrick. 
Uh, Morocco is the worst for most of them. Alex, uh, Kashmir has the most population, the highest approval rating, the highest literacy. We're not that far behind though. I think. No, we're fourth, so we're actually quite pathetic in that respect. Soldiers wise, Alexander is actually at the top. So, that could be interesting. Alexander may take out Bismarck. Get the workshop. You've finished building that, so... I suppose just automate. Next turn, hopefully uh, Alexander will want back his wines. We'll probably have to ask him though. Barbarian cap, really? My god, we should have gotten something down here a while ago to get rid of them. Okay, where's our units? Don't think this guy's gonna cut it. Want the bank now, really? Let's get the bank. Let's also get apparently a knight. But no, we want uh, musketmen. So we'll do it like that. In fact, we can even move our legionary down here just to be safe. Shall I take him three turns in that? Probably take him three turns to get over to our land. Compass will be done in five turns. Peace trees expired. Let's see if Alexander wants his wines. I believe he was trading wines, wasn't he? Really? You don't want that anymore? Can we get cotton off you? That's kind of a shame. That's really sad. Lost our, lost our income from Alexander. Three turns until the university's built there. That's it. will also grow in three turns. Nine turns there. Three turns there. Oh, looks like... Alexander was spreading Buddhism. What do you mean, connected city? Oh, Fez wasn't Fez wasn't connected. Oh, didn't realise. I'm sorry, Fez. If I'd have known sooner, I probably would have done something about it. I don't think we're going to upgrade this unit. In fact, we probably should really. We're going to a long swordsman. Germany and Poland are now friends. I wonder if our spy levelled up. He did. It probably makes sense to have him at home now, rather than uh, gathering intelligence. So we'll put you back in Rome. Do some anti-spying. I think we were the first to get into the Renaissance, and then we stole technology from Bismarck, so getting him back in our territory kind of makes sense at this point. No need to keep him out anymore. We can build the National College now, but we want to build a bank there. Here we want... Workshop. I don't like the way he's getting his musketmen close to my territory. I doubt he'll declare war though. He's in no position to. So, down in our capital. Uh, let's get rid of research and then add the National College. Wonderful. Got five minutes left. And compass is now done as well. We can actually uh, build harbours, which probably should have got this a while ago. People who smile the most. Casimir, obviously, at the top. After all, he did build the Notre Dame. Or well, Notre Dame, depending on how you say it. And that bank is done, that will increase income. Our income is now at 22, which is very nice. Well, let's start beating these barbarians down. Leveling up our swordsmen while we're at it. Look at you, trade with... Ooh, we can get more money from Lloyds than we can from Jerusalem. But no, I'll stick with Jerusalem. Because we're only giving one gold back, whereas we'll be giving two to... Uh, uh, 
uh, Casimir. He's building a lot of missionaries there. He's really trying to spread Buddhism. He's succeeding as well. I don't think he'll convert this city though. It is the holy city for Catholicism. And he will be suffering from attrition from moving through our territory. 3 turns until the workshop's done there. Ethiopia and Milan are no longer allies. There have spawned some crossbowmen. And that's annoying. But we should be able to deal with them. I don't think they'll have enough firepower to kill us. Printing press done in 15 turns. The musketman's been built. Probably don't need him built actually now. We'll build him anyway. Doesn't hurt to have him. Let's see if our swordsman should survive. Our long swordsman. Yeah. 8 damage. I don't really want to run them into them though. Let's leave them to heal up. They'll heal more than they'll be damaged, so. It'll take a slow, it'll take a long time for them to heal up though. But again, I don't want to leave them so weak to the point where they just get taken out instantly. Even if there's only like one crossbowman left. Got another three minutes. Let's send this musketman down to reinforce, get him some experience. Up here. Uh, mark it. Increase our income once again. Embassies? Sure. I don't mind. Sure. Lord Bismarck of Germany. Rabo, or Rabat, is about to grow. Which will be very good for it. Means you can work more tiles now. Keep heading down here. Ten turns until the National College is done. Then we'll build ironworks, most likely. You want this constabulary, though? Or const... What is that? Constable? No, it's constabulary. Larry? I think it is constabulary. I just hope I'm pronouncing it correctly. Unhappiness is on the increase again. My god, I don't know why. Oh well. Okay, I'm running to them. The city's actually starving now. Only by 0.1 though, so it's not a huge issue. I think it was the unhappiness which did it. Production down here. The harbour. I think is what we want. Gives us the happiness. It will also give us production as well. No, I think we've already got the production. But it'll give us happiness. Yes, please. Then we'll finish off these barbarian and crossbowmen. And who's close to levelling up? You are. Still starving. It's a shame. Still spreading Buddhism. It's a lot of pressure from Catholicism, though. So, again, I doubt it'll, I doubt Buddhism will be able to take root in Edinburgh. Okay, things are certainly looking better now, though. <coughs> Money problems are pretty much gone. Ooh. So Ethiopia is marching a sneak attack on Dublin. What? Yes. Sneak attack. That was Ethiopia, wasn't it? I think it was. So that's certainly interesting. I don't know how he's going to do it, perform a sneak attack on our city, when it's like right in the middle of our territory. But it'll certainly be interesting to find out. Can we confront him about it? 
من تفلق عليه ديسكوس انت تنغركو stop spying on me كتاني لا تونت تشلال okay whatever pretty sure it was him oh, but we've hit the 30 minute mark now so we will have to end this part here oh wow okay it looks like Poland's ready for war again I think we might have to start moving our men down before we leave let's quickly send them down here I don't think our one musketman will be able to hold them back. But anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, don't forget to subscribe to see more, and I will see you guys next time.